Yo, um, video in car. So, I've realized something. A lot of my life, guys have kind of been jerks to me, right? And I've kind of figured out why. So this sounds kind of narcissistic, but I honestly don't fucking care anymore. I've given up on it. Oh, well, I gotta seem humble. Huh. Most of the time when I walk into a room, I'm one of the most muscular guys in that room. I'm one of the strongest guys in that room. I'm probably one of the most handsome guys, if not the most handsome. Okay, when I walk into a room, say 30 Mormon dudes, right? And chicks. Most of them married. That's a good example. I'm the most muscular, most handsome, most intelligent dude, and I'm 18. Right? So why are the guys dicks to me? Well, it makes sense for them to be dicks to me. You know? They're little bucket crabs. They're sad. And instead of bettering themselves, instead they decide to be dicks. Mess with you. Slight you socially in stupid feminine ways. And dude, for the longest time, so I've always thought a lot of people are dickheads, right? Or not always thought. But I've I've recently said that probably over the summer a lot. That um a lot of guys are just dickheads. A lot of chicks are just dickheads, right? Like 99% of the human population are dicks. But I was expecting dicks to be people who waste their potential. I wasn't expecting dicks to be people who waste their potential and then get mad at you because you didn't waste yours. So be interacting. Like, I understand with chicks... Because it's brought up all the time that with chicks, girls will slight each other and pretty girls get insulted by other girls and stuff, right? I've been living under this fantastical presumption that if I'm a dude and you're a dude who's less attractive and less muscular and less intelligent, we can be friends. Because... I don't have any problem with you. I'm going to be nice to you, bro. That's like what I was taught as a kid. If you're nice to people, they have no reason to be mean to you. But some people are just mean to you because they're jealous. You know? There's two types of people. Sick cunts and sad cunts. Right? Sick cunts improve themselves. Sick cunts, handsome, muscular, intelligent. Sad cunts are guys who don't. Who waste their potential. And a lot of sad cunts can become... Some guys who are sad cunts can become sick cunts, you know? Not a lot of them. But a lot of the guys who are sad cunts, I don't know if they can make it to sick cunt. Because a lot of them will sit there and they'll get mad at you for improving. They'll get mad at you because you're better than them, you know? And they'll start, um, they'll start insulting you, making fun of you. Like, dude, how the fuck does that make any sense? If I'm in a group of people, I'm the most handsome... Let's say I'm in a big social gathering. I'm the most handsome, most muscular, most intelligent guy there. No one will talk to me for like an hour. Eventually, some dude will talk to me about the gym or something. What the fuck does that make any sense? But it's worse with, I'd say, Mormon dudes... Because Mormon dudes always have some girlfriend or fiancé. Normally fiancé. By 20, it's a wife, right? And you'll be talking to this dude. And his wife will be eyeing you up, right? Because, I don't know, these Mormon hoes aren't loyal. So, his wife will be eyeing you up. Hardcore. And he knows. At least in some regard. I don't know if he consciously or subconsciously knows. But he'll be a dick to you. Because he knows. I mean, think about it. He's 22, Mormon dude, married. He's not very smart. He's not very handsome. He's not strong. He's not muscular. I come along. I'm better than him in every aspect. I'm younger than him. Of course his wife's going to look at me. Right? And then he gets mad. 
Like, dude, I genuinely just want to be friends with you. I don't care about your wife. Like, dude, I have no problem with you. I'm trying to be friendly. But you're going to be a jerk to me because you're jealous and because you can't stand other people being in any way better than you. Like, what the fuck? Instead of seeing me and going, oh, that guy's cool. I want to know how he got there. Instead, you're just going to bucket crap. Instead, you're just going to, you know, play silly feminine social games and make fun of me behind my back and shit. I've been living in this fantastical presumption. Or like, yeah, chicks will play social games and they'll be rude to each other. But dudes, it ends at machismo. Like, well, of contests of strength and stuff, but it ends at machismo. That was the fantastical world I was living in. Because uh, when you're a teenager, no one tells you that dudes are going to, you know, play silly social games, right? Like, they teach chicks that, oh, yeah, you're kind of pretty. A lot of girls are going to be mean to you, but it's because they think you're pretty. And they're jealous, right? With dudes, no one tells us this. Because it's weird. Like, why would a dude do that? I was raised with the presumption that if I'm friendly with people and I'm kind to them and I don't do them any harm, they have no reason to hate me. But the thing is, the better you get, the more distant you become from the average, right? And the more distant you become from the average, maybe the more inspiring you can be to people in there. But at the same time, the more the average person hates you, the more the outliers connect with but the more the average person hates you. So you'll meet guys. And they're perfectly normal dudes. And you're sitting there. And you try and be friendly with them. And they'll fucking play silly social games. Fucking slight you. Fucking won't talk to you. Or talk to the other person. And then turn, oh, what did you say? 30 seconds later. Like, fuck you, dude. And you're gonna play social games. You're going to try and slight me. Why? I was trying to be friendly. I don't want to do any fucking harm. You know? Like, okay, cool. Maybe you think I'm better than you. Maybe you're jealous. Maybe you're insecure. Maybe. Um. Maybe you're afraid I'm going to take your girl. Maybe subconsciously they're afraid of sexual competition. One of those things, right? But why be a dick to me? I was living in this fantastical world where like, yeah, people are dicks and most people waste their potential, but nobody's going to come after you for not. And the better you become as a person, the more people like you. That's not true. In a lot of ways, the better you become as a person, the more the average person hates you, right? If you want to be well-liked, stay directly at the average. But most people who ever aspire to be great aren't meant to stay at the average and be liked. You have to risk people hating you, right? Because the average guy will hate you. Less so with chicks, because you're not competition for chicks, right? <laughs> Like, if you're a handsome, muscular, intelligent guy. Why would chicks hate you? They're going to love you. But dudes will dislike you. And it's stupid. Because I was raised under the presumption that, yeah, chicks will hate each other and be insecure. But dudes, dudes will go, oh yeah, that guy's more jacked. I want to be like him. Now I gotta try and get more jacked to compete. Instead, they just fucking bucket crap. They do the same thing chicks do. Or they just insult you and try and get in your head with social shit. Dude, I, I was trying to be nice and friendly to everybody. And instead, they just fucking spite you. And you sit there and you wonder why and you wonder why and you wonder why. I finally figured it out.
Because dudes who are, say, better than me in some aspect. Like, if I meet a guy who's more muscular than me, maybe he doesn't want to talk to me. But he doesn't want to talk to me because he's better than me, right? Like, if this dude's fucking 220 pounds, 6 foot 2, of course he doesn't want to talk to me. He's 22, 220, 6 foot 2. He's better. In that field, he wins, right? But I figured that you could be friends with people who, you know, weren't shitheads. Or were still shitheads, right? Like, I figured you could talk to the average dude and there'd be absolutely nothing for him to be jealous about. But they play these stupid fucking social games. I finally figured it out. The problem for me socially, because I'd sit there and I'd be like, why are people being mean to me? What's wrong with me? Why does no one want to talk to me at social gatherings? What's wrong with me? You know? Why are all the dudes rude? What's wrong with me? They're playing fucking social games. They're trying to insult you. Because if you improve yourself and you work on yourself, eventually you stray enough from the average that they notice it. And that intimidates them a lot. Because if you stray that far from the average, all the guys at the average, just seeing you makes them feel like shit. Right? So they'll be awful to you. Right? Like they'll just be genuinely mean people to you. And it makes no sense. Like, dude, I'm trying to be friendly with you. Why are you being a dick to me? It's their insecurity. It's not It's not me. All right. Rant over. Um, don't be a sad cunt. Be a sick cunt instead.